Now, if you have not heard of AFOX, the company, they exist and they've been around for a number of years. And almost like out of nowhere, they have launched a GeForce RTX 5090 32 gigabyte professional GPU with a, get this, blower style fan. Do you remember those cards way back? I reviewed a number of them back in the day, like 20 years ago, <laughs> but they worked. They worked extremely well because what they do is move all that air out of the case as rapidly as possible. They suck cool air in from this fan right here. Hopefully the inside of your case is cool or the room or office you're in is cool. So I can pull in cool air because that's really the only way it can work efficiently. To be fair, it's the only way that any fans and heat sinks work efficiently, but it pulls in cool air here and it'll port all that warm air, hot air out the back. And that's what's so cool, no pun intended, about this design. If you enjoy content like this, you can throw me a thanks by simply doing everything that's up here. Like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell, of course, and comment. Now, I know what you're thinking. This card is going to be very expensive. And yes, of course it is. It is, first of all, a 1590. And it has 32 gigabytes of memory. How much? Take a guess. 3,000? 4,000? 5,000? Almost $6,000 US. <laughs> Holy cow. So in Canada, that's not quite, but pretty much double. So... 10,000-ish. Now, aside from the fact that it has 32 gigabytes of memory as well as a blower-style fan, it is pretty much the same as an FE Founders Edition 5090 video card. And you might be thinking, well, it has another connector, right? A better connector? Nope. Nope. It has the same connector. The dreaded 12 VHPWR connector. Now, this is something interesting as well. AFOX has actually typically been producing video cards that have blower style fans in them. And this is possibly outside of NVIDIA's typical AIB partner restrictions because if you are a partner of NVIDIA, you need to kind of abide by their rules. Otherwise, you know, there could be warranty issues and whatnot. So I am not really certain how they're able to do this, you know, if it is outside those partner restrictions, but they're doing it. However, Chinese factories have also been creating similar blower style RTX 5090 video cards, but those are put in AI servers. I don't know in all honesty, if this card even makes sense, because at $6,000, you could pick up a couple regular RTX 5090 video cards, which in themselves are terribly expensive. But I suppose if you're into an AI server environment and you're making, you know, hand over fist money, this is part of doing business and it isn't such a mad expense. But let's face it, this card is not for gamers. This is for AI applications.